Interesting. Tunubu breaks silence on why he secretly sponsored Peter Obi by paying for his presidential ticket. Ha! Huh. Now, why? Uh, I talk and say Bola Ahmed Tunubu, not the king and master of politics. Remember, um, uh, five days ago, yes, if I must, if I, I, if I can remember, um, I told you all that um, uh, Tunubu said that uh, after all, he sponsored uh, Peter Obi's campaign and purchase of presidential tickets secretly, but through uh, one of his own son, not his blood son, but he just take him as an adopted son uh, by name uh, Utomi, you know. Uh, so he just gave that very. He, he said he reviewed how he used Utomi to sponsor Peter Obi's um, uh, 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 presidential ticket, but actually he may he claimed that the money actually come from him. Now Tunubu has broken silence on that very um, statement as um, a powerful politician has also helped to make the very information very very um, uh, comprehensive so that you two would be fed and know how it actually happened wow 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 this man he knows what he's doing very wise very 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 wise let's check the contents my dear listeners this is morning news the Oyo State governorship race took an unexpected turn as Taufik Akinwale, the Labour Party candidate, made a startling allegations against President-elect Bola Ahmed Tunubu during a radio interview on 101.7 Yes FM in Ibadan. Oyo State Akinwale claimed that Tunubu had urged Professor Pat Utomi to step aside in favour of Peter Obi before the 2023 general election. Speaking in Nigeria, in Yoruba, Akinwale revealed that Obi had received campaign donations from Utomi, whom he referred to as Tunubu's protege. Responding to Akinwale, Bola Ahmed Tunubu spoke just yesterday, breaking silence on the allegation claiming that of a truth, he sponsored Peter Obi, but then he did it for a reason. At first, he said that he saw Peter Obi to be a free man and not a man who should be in bondage. He claimed Peter Obi is fit and very much okay to contest for presidency. Doing that was to give the Igbos a chance, at least the right to come in and contest. I did this not because I know that he's going to defeat me. Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who said all of this, has pleaded to Nigerians to understand his patronage and reason why he has been going about doing good. <laughs> hey, this man no go keep a seed. I better make a laugh, laugh, laugh through it. Bola Ahmed Tunubu, I tell you, this man is a tortoise. That is what I used to call him. Yes, he's a tortoise, my people. You see... Let me tell you the truth and nothing but the truth and why this man did what he did. Let me tell you. See, don't forget that Peter Obi used to be in PDP. You understand? And as someone that is still in PDP, definitely I think we still take Peter Obi again as a running mate. And if Parventure Atiku takes Peter Obi as a running mate, it serves a big gap opportunity for Atiku to win the election as president because Peter Obi people um, Atiku will get more votes to himself to himself you understand he will get more votes to himself through the support for Peter Obi through the choosing of Peter Obi as his vice president so for Atiku to win more of the southeast and more of the of the knots you need to choose Peter Obi. So because Tunubu has looked at this from afar, he said, Okay, 
I think I need to separate the two of them. So to separate them, he felt that if I use the theorem of carrot and stick in management, I think that will help me. So he decided to behind from behind support Peter Obi and entice him with sponsorship. So Peter Obi accepted. That was when we all heard that Peter Obi has broken out from PDP to be a president to, 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 to fight for presidency in Labour. On note to Peter Obi that it was Tunubu that did all of that. You see that. So my people, Tunubu know what he did. And he, did, he really did it correctly. Absolutely well. Well, it don't happen. Um, what is there is that everybody has really learned from this very election. But why is it that it is every uh, four years that every four years that we want to have election in Nigeria, we keep having issues upon issues. It has never been like this in the U.S. now. The one that happened in the U.S., look at what they are doing to Donald Trump now. Don't, it don't mess up in, in the U.S. But in Nigeria, look at... Let me hear from you from the outside, my people, based on this very matter. Let's know what your take and what your opinion on this may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.